Hey guys, Gamerstar579 here, and I am actually about to start playing my first scary game on my channel. It is called The Park. It is suggested that I play in the dark. I am just simply terrified right now, and I wish I was drinking, but I'm not. So, let's just get started and hope to God that I don't actually crap my pants live. Okay, so, let's do this. We're gonna start the new game because I accidentally pressed spacebar and did not realize that that was going to start the game. I thought it was just gonna start my fraps, and it started both, and yeah. Wish me luck. Fun calm percent. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. God, I wish I was drunk right now. So pretty. So light. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Alright, so it looks like I'm starting off. And it looks nice! And... My kid is in the car. Hello, kid. Tell him I think his name is. This is the park. It looks nice. It seems friendly. And this is why I don't go to theme parks, people, because it gets Attention scary! Patrons, the park is now closed. Please make but, your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Atlantic Island Park, a tribute to an untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who use their talents to bring the dream of National Winter to life. Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after and may everyone die because that's what's gonna happen we're all going to die and I am going to shit my pants because that's what happens when I get terrified and I am already there and information I can't run why can't I run I wish I could run I just want to get in and out seriously this bitch isn't even gonna be able to tell me anything Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. What? What? Why are you so calm about this? Ugh! Stupid kid. This is why I'm never having kids either. They suck. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Over here. Sit there and do stupid stuff. And then, oh, gay, I get an achievement freaking going up an escalator. <sighs> okay, oh, sorry. I keep holding the button thinking I have to hold it. I'm not going to read all this because I really don't want to because the more I think about uh, amusement parks, the more I'm scared. Okay, so here's just a place that you can go and look and see and I'll let you read it. Okay, pause it now. Alright, so. What, what, what? You done fucked up, son of a bitch. Ooh, Ooh I'm sorry, There's I'm going to swear like... about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, Fuck the, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. 
Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. What's with the music? What's with the sound? What's going on? Why? Why? Why, sweet Jesus? The only amusement park I like is Disney World. And that is because things don't try to kill you in Disney World. I mean, yes, people have died um, on the rides, but still. I mean, holy sweet Jesus, is this what the place looks like at night? I want to go home! Can I go back down? No. No. Oh. Oh, I made the one step down. Oh, fine. Oh, God. The park. What happened here? Oh. Now I can run. Okay, so, so far, so... So far, so good. It doesn't look like I have, like, a... Depletion of my sprint. Oh! You... Little brat! No! What the F is that? Stupid Kim. Ferris wheel. Octothron. Octothron? Yeah. House of Horrors. Bumper cars, roller coasters. Entrance. Okay, now. You got to get. Uh, Okay, I can do this, guys. It's not scary yet. I'm overreacting. It's all in my mind. Do this. Just an amusement park. My son somewhere. Oh. Oh, that's nice. It looks like most of the time you just have to. I don't like the slow turn. The slow turn's ridiculous. But so far. Examine shoes. What? I think this belongs to Kelm. Why did he put his shoe? What kind of shoe is this? This is kind of a cool shoe. I wish I had shoes like this. Look at that. Pre tied. You can just slip them on. Look at that. Shoe in my pocket. Okay. So it looks like you only have to hit certain buttons once, and it's like, okay, that's like it. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. That sucks. What the fuck? I know I sat there and I said I wasn't going to let this get to me. I know I sat there and I said... It's just a game. What is this about? Um, I'm going to quick read it. Um, I'm going to quick read it, but if you guys... I'm going to... If you want to pause it now, go ahead.
Okay. Sorry, I kind of skimmed that and read it at the same time. I was also stopping to listen to that weird thing coming over the intercom, and I swear to God, if something pops up behind me, I'm going to scream like a little girl. I'm already freaking out. And yes, right, I know it seems a little overdramatic right now because nothing's really happening, but you know what? I hate... What? Jesus, Mary, Mother, and Joseph, I hate this slow turn. Why? Alright, I'm already fucking freaked out, guys. I don't want to play this anymore. Come on, Mommy! This is... What? Callum, what? stay what? where you are! What? Stupid kid gets on a ride? All right, so the first ride. Oh my god. Hey, it's just a swan ride. It's just a swan ride. I fucking freaked, guys. I don't understand why I'm so scared right now. I don't like scary things. I don't know why I said I'd play scary things on my channel. I don't even know why I suggested I even come close. I'd rather be playing Minecraft with my friends and be in a happy-go-lucky place and the only things I have to worry about are creepers blowing my house up. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very Ooh, poor very and had very little to bite or suck. The fuck is what bite her stuff? Of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Smart boy. This totally follows my theme so far. The next morning, tales. the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children what wait a while, the then follow the fuck is that? to their parents' house. No, 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 Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself. Oh my god! I've told them. No! I'm so scared in the right morning, now! Their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Guys, I don't know if I can play this game right now. Ah! He's not there. He's not there. He's not there. To lead them safely home, but hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs, and his trail was destroyed. Fucking hell! Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest my eyes for on three swan. days. Oh my god, guys! The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Why is it getting louder? It's automatically getting louder right now. The game said it would fuck with the audio, and... Little mouse. 
Oh. Who is nibbling at my house? Okay, so my timer just went off. From the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for My you. My heart is like... I'm gonna have a heart attack. Two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, I know the things nothing behind to fear me. here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Ah! Jesus, motherfucker! The old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping. <laughs> I hate her heart. This. So much. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Okay, what's the next thing? Time what's the next thing? Oh God! And poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your okay. brother, Gretel. There's going to be one more scare. I know there is. Because the eggs, it's right there. But Gretel of course, pretended not my to little stand. Uh, I do not know how. Do Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into like, the oven. Like I feel like something's behind me right now. Bolt over the door to the oven. I could just make it. I could just make it. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. And together they lit a fire beneath. No, the what oven. the? What are you doing? Why are you slowing down? Screamed and begged. The children I'm almost sat in the light, the oven really. until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, oh God. because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. That did not happen in the freaking fairy tale. But I'm never going on. It's a small world. What the? Why? Sweet Jesus, why? That wasn't that scary, but I just, I want to get off this ride. I want to get off this ride. I want to get off. Can I get off? Are you going to let me off? This game's going to take years off my life. Okay, guys. So this seems like a good place to stop right now. We went through one ride, and I pretty much proved to you guys that I am a chicken shit, and I don't know if I'm going to survive this game or not, but it's going to be fun to see how I do. And if I can make it through this one, I feel like I'll be able to make it through anything. I feel like I probably should have maybe even started with something smaller, like, you know, Amnesia. But, you know what? You live and you learn. Um, seize the day. Carpe diem. So, thanks for joining me on the first episode of my first horror game. I cannot wait to see what it takes me. And I really hope you guys can see this. It's I'm kind of being lit by my computer screen. I'll take a look during editing. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Stay classy.